Question 257 of Leak Code, binary tree path. So given the root of a binary tree, return all root to leaf paths in any order. A leaf is a node with no children. So in our first example, we have an output of 1, 2, 5, 1, 3, and that is exactly the two root to leaf paths we have here. So we have 1, 2, and 5. 5 is a leaf node because it has no children, so its children are going to be pointing to null. And then 1 and 3 is also a path. Again, the left child and right child are going to be pointing to null. What we're going to be using for this is a DFS recursive backtracking solution. And what do I mean by that? We want to find all root to leaf paths. So we can start off here at the root. We can check the left side, go all the way down to the bottom. We can add this into some result array. And then we pop off, we backtrack from this. So we go back up to the previous level and we check to see if it has another child that we can traverse down and find another path, in which case it does. And then we add that into results as well. And then what do we do after that? Well, we backtrack again and we backtrack and recurse throughout this entire solution until we find every possible path from root to leaf. Okay, so before we dive into this explanation, we really need to understand what we need to pass down at each level. Because remember, this is going to be recursion. So we're going to be going down each level. And at each level, it's going to have a block scope. So this scope is not going to be able to see this scope. So we have to know what to pass down to this scope in order for us to computate the results that we need. And in this example, what we need to pass down is the current root, right? So at the first level, current root is 1. At this level, the current path is 1, 2. 1, 2, and 4, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's what we need to pass down. And we also need to pass in the root, so this value, because we're going to be updating that every time. So say we want to go down root left, we need to pass in root left so it knows that that is the new root. If we're going down the right side, we need to pass in root right so that it can update that as the new root at this point. Let's run through this. So at the first level, we have the current path, which is one. We have the root, which is one. We're going to go down the left side. So at this point, we have a current path of one, two, and the current root is two. We go down to four now. We have one, two, and four as the path, and we have four as the root. And at this level, 18, we have one, two, four, and 18 as the path, and 18 as the root. And this node here, its left value is pointing to null and its right child is also pointing to null. So we have reached a leaf node. And when we reach a leaf node, we can simply adjust this and push this into results. So we'll have something like this. Okay, so that's part of the problem solved. Now we've reached the bottom, what do we do here? Well, we need to move back up, so we need to backtrack. And how do we do that? Well, we need to pop off of the current path. So this needs to be removed. Then we have one, two, and four. The current route that we're at is four. We need to check its right child to see if there is any other possible path there is and then we go down this path and find the root to leaf path so at this point we have one two four and 19 current root is 19 so we can pop this in to the result now we can repeat the process so we backtrack we go to this level we check so we remove 19 from current path so we're now here we check if there is any other possible path to go down there isn't so we backtrack again go to this level so we pop off current path so we only have one two within the current path and our current node is two is there another path yes there is so we have to go down the right side so at this point we have one two and five as the current path and five as the current root it's a leaf node because it's both pointing to null in terms of its left child and right child so we can just add that into the result array then we can backtrack again backtrack again We've reached one we can go down the other path at this level current path is one and three and the current root is three and then this is a leaf node so we can just pop that in to the results array time complexity of this is o n because we visit each node once and space is also o of n okay so let's write this out so let's cover the edge case so if root is undefined then we can just return an array right an empty array because that is what the question is asking for it's asking for an array as an output so if the root is undefined, we're not going to be able to return any root to leaf node. So we just return an empty array. Let's define our result array as an empty array. And then let's create the DFS function. So when we call DFS, we're going to pass in the root because at each level we want to know what the current root is. We're going to pass in an array for the current path that we're on. Up here, we can just type in root and path. So firstly, before we do anything, we need to push into the path the current value of root. So at the first level, we'll just be pushing in one, right? And then we need to check if 
root.left is undefined and root.right is undefined. This means that we're at a leaf node, so then we need to push into res. And we need to push in the path, but we need to update the path to equal this. So we need to join the path to convert it from an array to a string, and we need to join it by the arrow, and that will give us the desired outcome. Now we need to check root.left if that's available, then we recurse down that side, and we also need to check if root.right is available and recurse down that side. And finally, we would have at some point reached a root to leaf path. We've done all the adjustments, so we've pushed it into results. Now we need to backtrack, so we need to pop off of the current path to go back and check for other potential solutions. And then after that call has been made and completed, we can return res. Let's run this and see if it's worked. Okay, it's been accepted, let's submit it. And there you have it.